stick around because in this video we are unboxing a Joey, well multiple Joey Versa prototype dolls and trolls. I can't wait. We're gonna have so much fun. See you soon. goodness I am so excited Christopher are you excited I am so excited this has been a while coming our friend Joey Versa of Mary Magpie Dolls hi Joey hey Joey <laughs> yeah because he's watching so this is how it started I have admired his dolls for a long time they're so pretty they're so pretty if Ugh. Mary Magpie Dolls I've seen them all over social media but I've never held one no have neither you? have I no, I've seen them on my own Instagram feed for a couple of years, and uh, they look just really gorgeously made. Yeah. And everyone else that I've seen see them, loves them. So I'm excited to get my fingers on one. Yes, so, the, so, so am I, because we have been talking about possibly doing a shop exclusive with Joey, and we have thought about maybe doing me, maybe doing Derek, maybe a new character, I don't know. Sky's the limit, but his dolls are, they're crazy. They're so good, crazy in the best way. So we have a couple things to unbox, but Joey, he does 3D printing and everything's hand painted and hand done. So his Miss Mary, and I'm reading the notes that Joey sent me, is the only fashion doll with two faces. Yeah. Made in luxury resin, she is designed with face plates that magnetically go in place for two different looks. Could you die if we were able to do that in real life? Oh my, I just need one of those all the time. Oh no. I, I wouldn't need coffee if I could have my own like separate face plate. I could be like nice without trying. It would be great. Like, like I wish I had that because then yeah. like, you know, go to the gym, put on this one, get ready. Like I would go to the gym and take mine off. I wouldn't have one at all. <laughs> I, people wouldn't bother me then and that's all I need. Yeah. That's so good. Okay. Um, he's cracking me up too much and now my makeup is going to run. So no. we better get into... We better get into the dolls, so let's do it. Joey, what now, a wonderful surprise. Thank, thank you, Joey. Thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, and Joey, he's an Oregon artist. He's from Oregon, and he has been working hard for over two decades to do this, and he he's just doing a great job. I would call him, like, an indie. Oh, totally. Very artisanal, like, yeah. underground indie doll creating. Everything is a very small batch. Yeah. One of a kind's small editions, things like that. So here's what he put in here. He put something for Christopher, which it's so right there. Of so Thank sweet you. of him. He put a troll. So let's go ahead and, um, why don't, we, why don't you start opening that one up? It feels like an Easter basket. <laughs> like I just want to like rip grass everywhere. Yes. You know what I mean? So he said, so the Miss Mary I sent is a prototype and she is not packaged like a customer would get her. They are normally tied into a satin padded backing. And the one I sent is just in bubble wrap. And she's not dressed because the outfit I sent is black and I always worry about the resin staining in a dark color. So the prototype that I sent Christopher for my upcoming line, she is bubble wrapped and he doesn't have the boxes in house yet. So this is like prototype city, which I love. This feels very just, exclusive. I'm very excited it is. for something that is so exclusive. Okay, so this is the doll from his upcoming line. Yes. And like any and he truly, sent a letter. I think that this is a gift this between you two. And, yeah, but it, this is how this is how it happened. He saw your video, mm. the Barbie video yeah. at the virtual doll convention. Yes, and I he had loved so it. So much fun. If you haven't seen that yet, you are missing out. I go full lunatic talking about Barbie for like forty-five minutes, and I'm so glad that yeah. everyone else also seemed to really enjoy that. They did. Yeah, it was one of our most popular videos of the entire thing. It was one of Christopher's first videos, and it really meant a lot to Joey. And so this is why he sent a gift, which is, hey, jealous. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. He sent me a gem in the holograms, like booklet with earrings and a necklace for Barbie. So cute. Thank you, Joey. I've had too much coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe let's, before we open up your, pro, your gift, let's yeah. open up the Miss Mary. Yes. The Miss Mary by Joey Versa. Look at the so, box. So oh. Miss Mary and Monday Maven by visionary queer doll artist Joey Versa is over a decade in the making. So I have always wanted to see what one of these felt like. Oh, look at this. Oh, she has a little jumpsuit. I love a jumpsuit. So Joey probably, I'm guessing Joey probably hand makes everything. I think so. Also, look at the waist on this. Look how tiny that is. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I can't <laughs> wait to see her. Look at the first wig. Yes, oh, orange, so cute. So cute. I love a beehive. How could you not? Oh, the second wig. Oh, look at that. I love that. So, so pretty. 
These are beautifully done. Don't you just wish you could, again, with the... Yeah, helmets oh, of hair. Helmets of hair. Popping on. Hair is such a... Oh, look at she's, that waist. Wow, she's she, gray. That's amazing. I love that. See, 3D printed stuff is just amazing. Oh my gosh. This almost feels like porcelain. Yeah, it does. It's really... And it does. I was actually just recently watching a video by Dean Reen. Hello, Dean Reen, if you're watching. Um, who was reviewing, I think it was last, the last season or last collection that Joey had released of Mary Magpie, commenting on how smooth this resin is. And resin usually is kind of a, a granular texture. Um, this feels like glass. This is a beautifully crafted doll. She feels amazing. So let's, yeah, let's get her up into the screen. So, so this is what she looks like nude. And again, these are prototypes. So the, the finished dolls are a little bit more finished. It's so nice to actually see and hold one. Yeah. A lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Totally. I love the okay. complexion. Oh, she's, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at face number one. So I wore this dress special because I knew Joey would like it. And it is, it matches. It's perfect. Yes. How can you go Sorry, wrong with a green eye? Hair in my face. Even your hair is excited. Even my hair is excited, there we go. Uh, but look at that. Oh, it just slaps right on. Yeah, that is great. Okay. <laughs> Effortless. And also you can see on the back of the head, we've got uh, Joey Prasad's signature, which I think is such a, a lovely detail. We've got a really great sort of uh, mint eyeshadow above the citrine uh, lash ridge and a beautiful gold lip. I love the detail in the blush. There's even blush on the chin and a little bit of blush between the brows on the forehead. Love that. I love that tiny detail. Um, there's some great uh, painted lashes. I love how many colors are in her iris. And her silhouette profile from the side is so pretty. So pretty. Now there's two oh, looks. I, like that one. I think this might be my favorite. That's your favorite? Okay, yeah. so this, and this one has an open mouth. And it has, is that purple eyeshadow or it's like? It's you, kind of like a cobalt. I'm, I'm gonna ask the makeup artist. No. It's a lot more fun to, <laughs> to ask. Kind, yeah, it is kind of like a cold. Where's right? Periwinkle? Periwinkle? Yeah. What's your vote, audience? The eyes remind me of Barbie. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Totally. I mean, I think. I love it. Just I, slaps right, right on there. Right. It just it just sticks right on. <laughs> okay. So which oh, color? Oh, it's got a magnet. Which color? Yeah. Well, and I love the combination of like a, a bright like tomato red that's almost orange on the lip. She's got it in the nostril and in the tear duct, and then this like fluorescent blue. That is such a great color combination. She's so pretty. Joey, how do you how do you figure out your makeup combinations? Like, yeah, because he does. They're all different. Let's see how the hair works. So pretty. get it, girl. I love that. Did you see how easy her hair just? It just sits right on. Just sits right on. I truly need helmets of hair. That's like the, the next thing that beauty needs to invent. Yes. It's like forget wigs. We're just going full helmet. Full helmet. Yeah. Nothing's getting through that sucker. No. <laughs> At all. So cute. At all. That one probably, of course, yeah. yeah oh, look I at think that. those oh, together. That's fabulous. Yeah. I just can't get over the complexion. I love that she is a deeper tone, but she is kind of an inhuman color. She looks like she's been um, decaying for a little while. I love that. <laughs> oh, I want to make sure I do this okay. Oh, maybe I'm not. It looks good. Well, it looks close. Yeah. Well, we'll have to we'll have to fiddle with it, but it it does work very easily. I like I like this style. The color the best. combination is so pretty. Yeah, the style is great. Style okay, is great. So good. All right, so um, these dolls are so cool, Joey. They are so cool. How does it meet your how you thought? Actually, it exceeds my expectations because yeah. I was excited to see her anyway. I'm attracted to her because she's just this like ridiculous uh, uh, caricature yeah. of Barbie. Like, Big boobs. Barbie's already just like kind of insane. Right. But this is dialed up to like 9,000. Right. And uh, she's gorgeous. She yeah. is so pretty. Nice and size too. She's a great size. Like she's she feels good in your hand. The detail on the faces, I just can't get over. I like that there's a different finish on the eyes than there is, like the eyes themselves have a lacquer on them where everything else is matte. It's a great touch. Love that. Love that. I cannot wait to see this um, prototype. Oh, look at the box. The box is really cool. The box is so pretty. Prototype Miss Mary box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, an actual run would be packaged better. I was in a hurry, LOL. Yeah. Um, we appreciate it. We and appreciate it. This is so, like the artwork on the box, I think is phenomenal. I love that corset you see here. And is she holding a gun in the lower photo? Did I see that? Yes, right? yes she is. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, you could just, like, just receiving this box, you already know this doll has, like, stories to share. Oh, absolutely. You know? 
it's, it's got snakes on the side. What a character, yeah. Oh yeah, I love the kind of grayscale that we see on the side with like little snakes. So cute. So, so cute. cute. <laughs> All right, so I want to get into the trolls, but first we have to get into your gift. Yeah? Oh, he said for something Paul. for Paul. That's oh, so cute. So sweet. You were so thoughtful. Let's see, let's see okay. your Prezi. I'm so excited. Again, this is a prototype from his upcoming line, which I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but he'll, no, I'm he'll so comment. Excited. I'm, I can't wait to like have the news be released so I can talk more about it later. Also, I'm sure this is atrocious on camera. I am so sorry. You know what? People love it because you're unboxing right with us. Oh. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, she is so cute. Oh. So she feels, you can tell she feels like a prototype. Yeah. That's that sort of granular texture. Oh, yeah. Right? The other one feels like like, it's a little bit more finished. It's like porcelain. She just yeah. feels amazing. I love the face on this. This is very sweet. This to me is kind of like Barbie's midge. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mary yeah. Magpie's like sweeter faced friend. So cute. I love the makeup. I love the blue. The beauty mark is so cute. She has pierced ears. Love that. Even a prototype with painted nails. And this very, very cute bow. I love the bow. There's a there's a, a ensemble for Barbie that reminisces the or resembles the silhouette of this, and it's very cute. And I think there's like a oh it's Ken. There's a Ken and dog and oh a horse print. Got a clasp in the back with a really cute little star button. Matches her eyeshadow. She's precious. She's got uh, jointed hips, jointed shoulders, uh, fully articulated neck. She can kind of twist and turn either way there. So cute. A great character. So cute. Yeah, she looks like she has. Can't wait to see more to of her. Yeah. 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 Love that. Thank That's you fun. so much, Joey. I love the shoulders on that because they they're deliberately shaped to give her like the appearance of shoulder pads. Oh yeah, I love shoulder pads. That is so pretty. Oh, and I wonder if this ties. This looks like this ties under the bosom. <laughs> I love that. As if she didn't need any more. Right. <laughs> Emphasize that. That's so pretty. <laughs> and the polka dots are like a flocked texture. Like it's not just a print. Like the, the detail on this is really fantastic. Love that together. I really like that is next level. When you go to Joey's website, almost everything is sold out, but he's constantly doing things. And here's what I pre-ordered. When he came out with his line of trolls, I was like, I'm in. Because everybody had a troll, right? Yeah. Did you have a troll? I totally had a troll. Stanley, did you have a troll? No. <laughs> I Linda, was. Did you have a troll? I was the troll. Okay, Linda had trolls. So, <laughs> I mean, everyone's had a troll, right? He said, here are the Trollins. Pie Wacket. Trollins Pie Wacket. Rachel, your personal one you ordered is coming mid-October. So, because you can, you can order them with custom hair, custom mm -hmm. eye color, custom everything. Mm -hmm. And look at the, look at the box. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love a little monster with a septum. We're twinning. <laughs> yes. He has, so cute. he has him, when he posted the one with the nose ring, I was like, it's the nose ring for me. That is <laughs> so funny. So, so his trollings are good. Yeah. Now there's mini trolls in there. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. We have to open it up and see. I know. I'm excited to see what he sent because I watched the his troll video recently. It was really sweet to, to hear like how the, the personal connection he, ha he has to trolls and always has had kind of resonates with him. And I think that resonates with doll collectors at large. Yeah. Everyone has a story about how they started, and hearing his was really sweet. It was about his grandmothers and their kind of compassion toward him and with him. It was just very, it was a very good video. It was a good video. And you can see that the love of his, his love of trolls really comes out when he's talking. I would not identify as like a troll person necessarily, <laughs> but uh, I saw the ones that he was showing in the video and they were so cute. Yeah, like, I had to get one. There was one with a little fin on the back. Yeah. The detail was amazing. They are so cute. And Ernesto at Dalton Photography has been photographing them for him and they just look amazing. Great shots. So, okay, so Pie Wacket is the monster of the forest. Why do you run so far away? I'm really not scary, I'm just here to play. I may look different and scary to you, but I'm here only for good, and my heart is loyal to you. Oh, that's so, so sweet. sweet. Pie Wacket is a purple monster with a frozen Charlotte type body and a ball jointed head so it can swivel. He is available to customize hair and eye color and will come with his little owl comb. So cute! Oh, oh, oh my god, he's so ring. cute. <laughs> oh, you have to show. Uh, I love the pink hair and the nose ring. I feel seen by Pie Wacket. <laughs> yeah. You are seen by Pie Wacket. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Twinning. 
Well, and the, I love the texture, the, like the appearance of fur. It's not resin, is it resin? Oh my gosh. I, I, no, I think they're, they're the, 3D printed. Um... The pillow, like this is so beautifully done. So he's tied in into the satin here. He is precious. Oh, so the doll that you got, and I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to take us off course here, but her, she's a pulp ink doll. So oh, this is kind of where see, he's going with it. So cute. Stanley, see if you can get that. So that makes that a little bit more sense. Oh, look at that troll. So cute. Okay, get back to the trolls. <laughs> and, well, and this is the first 3D printing artist that we've worked with. Oh, totally. I've and, never held uh, anything 3D printed at all. I've seen them kind of like out and about, but the hair, oh, the hair is so soft. I think I remember Joey oh, saying that, that uh, he really wanted natural fibers for the hair for these. So they feel really soft. Also, it's very flowy. You can see that it's very interactive hair, which I like. It really holds motion. A jointed head and beautiful, like glittery green orbs for eyes. They are so pretty. This really feels magical. Like he feels like a real character. Oh, he does. Right? I love it. So Look cute. At that. Yeah. To be honest, I don't remember how much it was. It was under a hundred. Worth it. <laughs> so totally worth it. Totally, I mean, totally worth it. look how happy he is. Yes. What a jolly face. You know, he looks kind. And, he um, is. These mini trollins are for you guys to keep. Don't fight. <laughs> uh -huh. Cute. Is that a mustache? Oh, mustache. Work. I love it. Oh, I love them. For Rachel and Christopher, here are some pins illustrated by Mill Odom of my doll for form and some stickers by Brandy Middle Middle of? I think so. Of Daffodil's Meadow Doll. Okay. Oh, how fun. Here's the mini trolls. So which one are you gonna pick? I mean, certainly the mustache <laughs> one, but like, I don't know. They're both cute. We just might be fighting, who knows? The mini trolls are super cute. Also, we forgot the tail. So he also has. Oh my gosh, the tail. The tail is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> That's, look at now, okay, I might be taking back what I said about helmets. I want that hair. That's really good. You kind of have that hair. Just grow it out a little bit longer. That is <laughs> oh, your hair. It will work. I love it. Straighten that. it, and yeah. then there you go. Leave it out in the rain. Look at for the look weeks. at the detailing on the butt. So cute. You got to have the blushing. Yeah. You know, he has the blushing. Oh, so I like his little pout. He's got kind of a mischievous face. Cute. <laughs> I mean, the pink is great. Is it a towel? Looks like a, like a towel. Oh, I saw it's, it's like a, a piece of felt. Mm -hmm. Cute. These are super cute. Make nice little t uh, party favors, table favors, gifts, additions to your troll collection. Hairpins. Hairpins, Make brooch. Yeah. You could do a lot. <laughs> look at that. It would. It'd be a great brooch, actually. I mean, I really. Love that. Look at that. We're ready for a party. Home for Pie Wacket. This is so cute. This is the owl that he was writing us about. And on the back, you've got the bristles. So, so cute. And I just went on MaryMagpie.com and confirmed that they are $65, which for a for a custom-made, handmade troll with, with all this, worth it. 65 bucks. Count for, me on. Yeah, for an artisan troll. Right. This is this this one looks a lot like the one that I'm that I'm getting, I got, I think I got pink eyes and pink hair. I can't really remember. As soon as he posted them, I would just like bought it immediately. But now I kind of wish I got the little horns and the, the nose ring. Like I want, like, I like that one. Well, that's too bad because we're friends now. <laughs> you and Pie Whack It. So cute. Our besties. Besties. <gasps> a, a mermaid oh, the troll. The mermaid is so cute. <laughs> Look at her little. I love the sea star uh, The little pasties. sea star pasties. I love those. The hair is great. Linda's Linda's back here just dying. <laughs> I wish you could it get a picture of Linda. It is as silly as it sounds. It is. Linda's, <laughs> look at her. Look at her. <laughs> She's, oh, of that's good. That's good. I mean, but look at the little guy yeah. underneath. So cute. So cute. So we have Miss Mary dressed. Yeah. And what is your final take? I keep saying the word obsessed, and it's one that is thrown around a lot. It's a very trite word, but truly, like... I love this doll. I love the dressing gown. I love the flocked polka dots. I love that it ties under the bosom. I love that the silhouette of this is just kind of insane. The jumpsuit is stretchy and spandex so she can like sit in it. It looks comfortable. It's very high quality. I love you can change her face and her hair. 
I think this doll is completely worth it. And um, I want one of these. I'm excited for the next batch yeah. of dolls because I'm going to be buying one. So maybe we should do, I think for the shop, instead of trying to do a new character, like maybe we should do an exclusive Miss Mary. I love that. For the shop. Love that. What do, what do you think? This is why we're doing the video. I wanted to unbox this with you because we, I asked him to send these just so I could get a feel for him, but I thought we need to film this and put it out there too. Weigh in with your comments. Should we do a new character or should we do a... Miss exclusive. Mary exclusive. I, yeah. Either one, I think. I think it's going to be a winner. So this was a lot of fun. Did you have fun on oh this unboxing? I'm still like the smile. We're like, still yeah, going. And thank you for the gift for Paul. You're so sweet. He's so sweet. So which which face are you? Which face should, are we keeping for the? Oh my gosh, I I love this one. Like yeah. they're both great, but I am I'm a sucker for like a blue eyeshadow. Yeah. I really am. And she is my, she's my vote. Now, can you clear up the whole thing about blue eyeshadow? Because I was always raised to like, you never wear blue eyeshadow. I don't care what the question is. The answer is blue eyeshadow. <laughs> okay. And I mean like hooker blue eyeshadow. <laughs> hooker blue eyeshadow. I want, bl everyone should be wearing blue eyeshadow and blue mascara. It's 1984 forever. Did you hear that, Linda? Blue eyeshadow and blue mascara forever. Why not? I don't it's not, you're not, it's not a, you know, hair dye you're stuck with. How fun, it comes yeah, off. Yeah, true, true, true. If it wasn't like damaging for my hair, I would have, I would do different colors of hair. I think that'd be so fun. Helmets. Yeah, helmets, helmets. helmet hair. So thank you so much for tuning in with us. We enjoyed doing this unboxing. So cute. So cute, so fun. I have two twins today. Yes, uh, there's a link in the video to go check out the trolls and check out Joey's dolls. This was really fun to do. We don't get to do as many unboxings as, as I'd like because we're busy doing all kinds of other things. Mm -hmm. But Joey Versaw, thank you so much. So much. Yeah, congratulations on your recent engagement. Yes. And we're just so happy to be friends with you. <laughs> keep, keep up, keep up the tr the good troll work. Yeah, no kidding. I I've never seen anything more Portland than an artisanal box of trolls. You know, it's <laughs> very it. Oregon. Yeah. It's very Oregon. Yep, deep in the deep in the Oregon forest. Keep for sure. Portland weird, Joey. You're doing great. Keep keep going. We love it. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye. Bye.